what's going on guys make it with directed back again with yet another tech video for you guys in this video i'm not going to be doing any iphone 12 pro max or 12 line of cases but i'm going to be unboxing and reviewing autobox exo h cases for the apple watch series 6 series 5 series 4 se because they all have the same dimensions externally i myself have never really been a fan of putting cases on my apple watch because i do like the look of the Apple Watch itself, so usually I just use the screen protector in my Apple Watch. But of course, when you do not use a case on Apple Watch, you're exposing it to getting damaged, to getting scuffs. And yeah, many people are actually paranoid with knocking their watches on different different objects like the table, corner and stuff like that. So a case like this will definitely come in handy. Alright, so before we get into the unboxing and review, a sub to the channel would definitely be awesome. And do ding that notification bell so you can get notified on the latest videos which I post. So without further ado, let's get into the unboxing and review of the Autobox XOH. Alright guys, so I'm back. As you can see, I have two sizes for the XOH. So this is for the 44mm casing and this is for the 40mm casing. So personally, I use a 44mm casing. So I'm only going to be able to show you the one right here even though it's in pink all right so let's quickly get into the unboxing so let's take a look at the packaging all right so on the top you get autobox logo as usual xoh you can see a glimpse of the case i do like this because this is actually a plastic cover so it keeps the case clean on the inside even though it's hanging in the retail store all right guys so on the bottom right you can see this for the series 4 but it's definitely forwards compatible as well so i've actually tried it on my series 6 and this works so do not worry even though they only show it for the series 4 all right let's take a look at the back you can see guards display and edges so basically this gives like a, almost a 360 degree coverage except for the screen i wish they actually included a screen guard all right so that's it for the box let's take it out of the packaging put it like this so the case here and then there is an instruction manual i guess all right guys so we also have a limited warranty schedule all right so let's take a look at the case itself let's remove this so on the back of this cup we have instructions on how to install the case all right guys so we have the case right here you can see i have this in pink color but they have a variety of colors like black i wish i got the black one for the 44 mm casing but it is where it is so it is sort of yeah like a two-part case so this is a soft tpu this is where you're going to be slotting in your apple watch and this is the top bezel i should say that protects your screen in case you do drop your apple watch face down so you can see right here cutouts on the side for your digital crown your microphone here as well as your power button right so on the top you can see the cutout top and bottom in fact you can see cutouts for the strap okay on the left side yeah is this the left side for me this left side you can see a cutout for your speaker on the bottom you can see auto box branding so it's very subtle so let me fit it on my apple watch series 6 all right guys so my apple watch series 6 actually has a screen protector and this is a full coverage screen protector so i guarantee you that this will not work but anyway we'll test it out so if you're using a full coverage glass protector or soft tpu protector like i have right here definitely it will not work so okay let's let's go in button side first because i do like to go button side first let me give you a close look. you can see the screen protector is already bubbling so if you are using a full coverage tempered glass screen protector or something like i have right here a soft gel type screen protector definitely it's not going to work the reason being is that this case actually slightly overlaps into the border of the screen itself so that's the reason why a full coverage tempered glass screen protector or a full coverage screen protector will not work with this case. So if you are not using a full coverage screen protector, this is not going to be an issue. But however, I am. So you can see it's actually lifting up the whole screen protector. It is what it is. There are some trade-offs. So as you can see, I'm actually tearing apart my screen protector. I'm trying to remove it. All right. So let's take a look at the other packaging. So you can see XOH is very similar. So let me get this case uh, unboxed. Okay guys, so I got this case unboxed. The black one looks pretty slick. In fact, I would choose the black any day. But of course, if you're a fan of pink, then this would work as well. But I bet pink, many people would be buying pink for the 40mm casing. But black is the way to go for me. I do love black. All my stuff are black, including the case which I'm using now, which is this aramid fiber case black cases for my previous iPhones as well. But yes, this is definitely based on personal preference. So let's take a look around the case very similar cutouts because technically both watches are the same just different sizes so on the top also you have this uh hard plastic shell as you can see it's very hard to bend 
but on the sides here you can see it's very soft and flexible so it's, a, it's like a hybrid case similar to what they have with the symmetry so basically they should call it what the symmetry for apple watch i think that'll be easier to remember exo h is like well a fancy name but it's basically similar to the symmetry all right guys so honestly you cannot go wrong with having a case on your apple watch i personally like thin cases because i do like to keep the form factor of my apple watch but if you are scared of getting scratches and dings and probably dents on your apple watch aluminium frame or even the stainless steel frame as well getting scratches on that is pretty easy definitely getting a case like this would uh, actually change up your style because it gives the uh, watch some character so if you do want to change the exterior color to match your watch band for example so just saying you got a pink watch band you want to go with a pink color case like this you can do so so definitely i can recommend this case because i don't see any problems with it besides uh, it not being compatible with full coverage screen protectors but if you use like the a smaller full coverage screen protector i guess that work mine is a bit over the edge so that's the reason why the screen protector was lifting when i installed the xoh on my apple watch series 6. all right so this concludes my video hope you guys like it if you did like it do hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to this channel and i'll see you guys in the next video